Gun Talk is brought to you by Lasermax, Smith & Wesson, Excess Sight System, Gun matches are difficult, but to do it in total darkness? Now we're talking. We start every stage with lights off, so it's completely dark. The buzzer goes off, and then whatever illumination you have, uh, the light comes on, and you got to find targets. And it's, I mean, it's really a challenge. You know, you, you try and change out a mag or you have a little stumbler or whatever, and in the light of day, everybody's really comfortable with how to fix it and, and what to do. And suddenly when the lights go off, that two second slip up turns into a 20 second slip up. Stand by. Trusting the laser, ah. that's the toughest thing, because you, you want to pull the scope up to your face. It's a waste of time. Just put the laser on and pull the trigger. Did the laser work? Oh, absolutely. Right on the money. is when you get down to this, this last part, you have to pick up your handgun and there's two steel targets about 50 yards down range and you, you just can't see them. They're, they're out there, I, I could see kind of where they were, but you can't tell like where you're hitting, you can't adjust your fire. We're here at stage two with Tavis Miller. You're the RO for this, right? Yep. And this stage, I mean, you're running all around in a circle, right? Yep, complete semi-circle every single time. What's this one called? I don't know. What is it called? Uh, I, I asked That's the wrong enough. question. You did ask the wrong question. Roundabout right. Roundabout right. We'll try that again. Ready? The camera guys, I say ready and I never get anything. Okay, what's this, this one called? This stage is called Roundabout Right. So how many times does each competitor have to run this event? Just once. <laughs> and how many times do you have to run this event? Uh, probably about 70 or 80. Why would someone want to be an RO? Uh, I think the biggest reason you want to be an RO is to give back to the sport. Without the ROs and the volunteers that come out to do it, none of the competitors would be able to shoot. I, myself, as a shooter, wouldn't be able to come out and compete unless we had plenty of people willing to take on the responsibility to RO. But it's fun, right? Lots of fun. Meet lots of great people. Good, good. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Yeah, bye. Uh, the white light and the laser combination are amazing. There's uh, no faster way to shoot in darkness like this. Yeah, I was gonna try and hit poppers with one round of shot, taking two down at a right. time, but they were so big, it's just smarter to just go with the pistol and laser. It's like you can't miss. It's just a matter of getting the laser on it, smashing on the trigger. So last night was uh, just a ton of fun. I mean, I've never shot in the dark before, and to you know, just be in an in a unfamiliar situation with you know, some of the best shooters in the world who uh, have a little bit more experience than I do, shooting at night, uh, it, was, it was just a lot of fun. Well, the first one you guys were there for, you guys got to see that, that was the night vision stage with the PWS uh, machine gun. 
it went well, the run went well, uh, but I blew by that one target, which is gonna cost me about 15 seconds. Lots of things get mixed up in the dark like that. You know, you don't, not a lot of people get a chance to train with night vision and infrared lasers and things of that nature. I'd never shot at night before. So the very first stage was my first time to shoot the shotgun, the handgun, the rifle at night. So the shotgun and the rifle went really well and I went to the handgun, we had a 35 yard steel shots and it was rough. I ended up leaving the two steel, I shot at them, I couldn't even see the target. So I just ran off and got the other paper in the steel. But besides that, everything went really good. Hopefully, you know, there'll be more nighttime shooting matches, not just three gun, but just more evening matches because this has been a lot of fun. Coming up, night two of the Crimson Trace Free Gun Midnight Invitational. And it's my turn to give this thing a shot.